mentioned that I was going back to Primark and I was trying to get some light workwear, which didn't work exactly how I had hoped. Anyway, went back and picked up quite a few things, not just from there, some things from the works, Lush as always, and there's a couple of bits and pieces that I'll show you here as well. So we went to see The Flying Scotsman, which was, as always, amazing. We got that and got some footage of it. And I don't know if I'm uploading it in this video or another one, but I will upload it anyway. I've been messing around with this camera because I cannot get the light right. But this seems to be somewhat better than it was, apart from my skin looking like it is completely shiny. Well, it is shiny. It's probably because of what I just put on. But anyway, I'll start with what we got. I'll start with the kids' stuff first. I've been out all day and just so tired. So. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember the shop we got this from. This was what my daughter picked. She's used some up already. It's basically stickers of London. They were 150. I think it was Paper Chase. I think. I don't actually remember the shop. We went to the works as well. And for three pounds, Paw Patrol. And that's got all the different stories in it. It's got um, how many stories? Three tales. Pop save a train, Pop's fight fire, and Pop save the party. That's got all the different stories in it. I'm probably sitting too close to the camera actually. Um <clears throat> Then we have we've also had some from Smiggle and it Smiggle is like this stationery shop for kids and got really, really cool stuff in it that I love. She got a slap bracelet. If you don't know what a slap bracelet is, it's like a ruler that bends and twirls up. You slap your wrist with it, it twirls around it and then you have a bracelet. She's been wanting one for ages and we finally got one that she found today. Not today, sorry, it was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Um, and it was from Smiggle. It had a blue cat in it. And it's got lots of the little details like rainbows and basically girly stuff that she really likes. I could show it but she's wearing it to school so I can't do it right now. We went into Primark and got a bubble camera for a pound and just pour the bubbles in, use the camera and the bubbles come flying out of it. I find they tend not to work that well, but it was a pound and she wanted it, so I was like, fine, have it, I don't care. Have it anyway. We also found this, Paw Patrol Black Current Water. And I bought her that because it's Paw Patrol. Even though we had like a massive bag of water in it already, but still. She had that one. As always, Pez. She's got a lot of Pez toys, so she always picks up the Pez as well. These are the fizzy type. You have different types, but that seems to be her current favourite. Now, she also needed t shirts, so we've got two t shirts at 150 each. That one there with all the perfumes on it. She's quite a girly girl, so she does like the sort of thing that I wouldn't like <laughs> at her age. But I like now, so we're, we're kind of the same in a way that we like the same stuff currently. But as a child, I did not like that sort of thing at all. And there's this one. It's got dance, dance, dance written on it. And it's also got the, I don't know if you can see it, it's got glitter. Silver glitter. And um, in the middle... It's actually a love heart in the orange. If you can see it better now. And that she chose for gym class. But I don't think she's got gym today. That was actually in 78 years because I find them quite small made in Primark. And she's actually quite tall for her age. So there was that one. Then I think we finally get to my stuff for once. First thing is. 
this. It tends to change colour in the light. And it's just a vanity case, little tassels, slipper print. And it kind of caught my eye. Now, I don't normally use these, but I do have, in the last video, behind me there was a big basket overflowing with stuff. I need to cut down it. And I thought it would look better than this. And then, it means I can actually buy something nice like that. It was originally £5 down to £2. And that made me want it even more, because it was only 2 so if it doesn't get used, because I don't know if I can actually get rid of enough stuff that I don't need. Because I have stuff that I just don't use, but I keep just in case. I don't know, but it's all going in there anyway. These were £2. This is like a suede feel. These are just chokers. You get three. You've got the long one, which is the one I really like. And the two ones here like lace and I only really bought it for the long one because I remember in the 80s my dad used to wear the male equivalent of it and it was like in here it's like a triangle and it came out with the two bits at the bottom and I just remember him wearing it and I really really liked it and now I'm wanting my version of it it's not quite the one I was wanting to get because I, I think if I had a bit of weight in the bottom to keep it straighter because I have a feeling it's just going to end up going up here and everything when it bends. But it was only £2 so I got that anyway. And I don't like anything around my neck. I don't know how that's going to turn out but we're going to try it. Desperate needed socks. These were £1.75 I think. But a pack of five socks. Just general socks. And then two packs of thermal socks, which I tend to wear the thicker ones because um, I find that my foot will slide up against my trainer and then it just gets all holy anyway so I tend to wear like the thicker ones and these were 3 50 down to a pound each so 4 pairs for £2 basically <clears throat> I also got some clothing and the first one is this. Now, the thing is, you're probably not going to be able to see all of this, but I'll do my best. It's basically that. It's a long t shirt, the long line tee, it's called. And it was 3 50 It can be used as a long line t shirt, but it would fit me like a dress. So it'll probably go over leggings or something just to keep me cooler in the warmer seasons. And I also got this one. Now I've seen this, this type before. Like with the, the choker part on it. And the v-necks. Just like that. Is that one? Now, this is in a size 6. Because... Primark sizes are just like that. But this one, um, I've tried it on a different size as well. And it was just, the front is so low cut, it was too low with the bigger size. So I had to get like, the, the, big, the smaller size to make it a bit tighter. And I think that's actually going to work out quite well. I have no idea what I'm going to wear with it, but I like it. And it's got the, the skill print as well. My sister's been after one. I don't know if she has one yet. So she might want to get one off because normally she beats me to it. Right, these were eight pounds. I finally got the trousers. And they're just basic sort of yoga style leggings. But they're got the detail here. And it's 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 closed if you know what I mean. So it's not like your flesh is actually going to be seen through these bits. There's material behind it. And this was like the workwear I was looking for because it's got the stretch to it and it's just the jersey sort of feel that's what I'm used to rather than the scratchy fabric. I cannot wear the scratchy fabrics. So this was what I ended up getting. I also got boots today as well. Um, I had to go back out. They're not sitting here so I can't show them but they are um, just like 
craft style books just to go with them and hopefully I'll pick up some other stuff as well. I think I might get away with like Jeggins or Treggins. I don't know but I'm going to find out soon enough. So that was everything we got from Primark. I spent about £31 on Primark which is, I thought it was going to be a lot more but it wasn't. Um, we also got a Paw Patrol, what was it, is that like a fruity, oh, bar. It looks pretty good. She wanted it. We got it. And that was it. This also came today. And she doesn't know yet. Well, it doesn't know because she's not home from school. But I sent it away from this, for this, sorry, from Evie. And it's that. It's Marie from Aristocats. And they're basically for on your nails, like little nail accessories. And then she just get some clear nail varnish over the top here to seal it in. She loves me and she loves having her nails done. So I got her that. And that was actually the sale it is dress your nails if you're interested in getting anything from eBay. Uh, now the other thing I've got is blush. Didn't get too much. I've got a few things. Uh, picked up the free booklet. They're doing a lot of stuff right now uh, with preservative in it, like well, self-preserving, I should say. And this book actually goes into detail, so you can pick one up and find out more about that if you're interested in it. We also bought this rainbow, and it comes in all the different colours here. It's like Play-Doh for the bath, you can play with it, wash it, w wash with it, um, or as my daughter does, likes to stick it on Hello Kitty and wash her. And this was a $7.95 and I think it's 70 pence or so goes towards the Tsunami Fund in Japan. So, it's helping others as well. That's the rainbow one. The other one we've got was the Echo Baby Bot bath bomb. Right, I'll just open it. To be fair, we can use any bath bomb, but this is meant to be kind of for baby skin. I don't see a difference with the rest of them either, but me, they, all, they all have good properties for the skin, no matter what your age. It's not as much scent as the adult ones. And that's it there, that's the baby bot. Very, very lightly scented. And very, very powdery, just everywhere. Uh, that was... And the other thing we got, this was again my daughter's choice, was the Tutti Frutti box set. And I love the design of it, it's all fruits. And a little marching band. And it was 11 15 and I can't open it because it's hers and she won't do it herself. But what's in it is the Yuzu and Coco Shower Cream and the Miranda Soap. The Miranda soap has kiwi, but I think it smells more like mango. Um, but they're both fruit smelling, and that's them there. So that was what she got from there, and that was everything we got from Lush. So just a small amount this time, but it did cost about £21 in total. So that's another lot to keep us going. That at the minute is all that I've got. Uh, I don't know next time we're going to do a big shop. I might just gather things up we've got and just do like a collective next time uh, but we'll have other videos coming up and stuff as well so um thanks for watching and we'll have more videos coming soon so if you want to subscribe so you know when they're getting put up please do so and that's it
very fast. Cool. <laughs>